Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip here with another weekly word just for you. And guess what? This word's on time. Hallelujah. Right on time. Due time. <laughs> and uh, Mama Alberta, she sends her love and uh, she's she's taking care of Petey. You know, she's talking about, you know, uh, that she's got to get Petey trained. Well, it's the other way around. <laughs> Petey's training Petey's training Mama Alberta. They're they're a sight, I tell you. They're 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 uh, uh, always together, always together. It's, it's a he's a different uh, kind of puppy than Simon was. Even though uh, Simon and Mama Alberta were tight, uh, not like this. But anyways, uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we we uh, welcome your prayers for us. You know we're getting stronger every day. And uh, we appreciate all your financial uh, support. And we're believing God for multiplied increase to come back into your life. And uh, I want to keep this in front of us about this word that the Lord gave me about this Holy Ghost revival. There's a stirring. There's a moving of God's spirit in not only uh, our region, but in this nation and uh, we're the gateway to the world. What happens in America will spill out into the nations. And so, uh, you know, our nation needs help and the church of, uh, within this nation needs help. And uh, we, we're fortunate to be uh, a part of a ministry that is a clean voice and has a clear vision from God on what we are to do and and how to uh, accomplish that as well as your personal uh, destinies, uh, what God wants you to do. But anyways, God gave me this statement. And uh, if you don't have one of these cards, uh, contact our office and we'll get it, we'll get it to you. Uh, but it says this, in this Holy Ghost revival, there is a divine undoing of every demonic opposing force that has contradicted, hindered, and held back the destiny fulfillment of those who have pressed through and prepared themselves by faith to be used supernaturally in God's end time master plan. And I just believe every partner, every TRM partner is pressed through. I believe... Uh, you you stood the uh, and held your ground and kept the faith, and so get get yourself ready for uh, multiplied increase and uh, to be used mightily. This is the year of the mantle. God's going to put a, a stronger and fresh anointing on your life like never before, and the anointing uh, that mantle uh, it, it contains. Uh, authority, uh, graces, and anointings. And when you when you uh, receive a, a, a higher rank mantle, your authority and and your grace and your anointing expands. It's wonderful. So uh, keep that in mind. Now today uh, we're going to look at uh, thirsty, thirsty. How to stay thirsty for the things of God. And uh, we're taking our text out of Psalms 42 in verses one and two. It says, as the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Now the psalmist right here is uh, saying, that he has a thirst for the things of God. Uh, and he compares a deer, a heart, it says here in King James, but it's talking about a deer. And if ever you've seen an animal that's thirsty, they'll have their tongue hanging out. <laughs> Dogs do that. Uh, uh, animals that have tongues will, will when they're thirsty, uh, they're, they're panting and, and they're longing uh, for that thirst to be quenched. And all of us uh, have experienced uh, extreme thirst somewhere 
somehow. Perhaps uh, you're an athlete and you played sports and, and uh, you know, you were just giving out, giving out, giving out, and then you had a break uh, where you could uh, quench that thirst or maybe working real hard or uh, just uh, woke up in the morning and you're thirsty. It's, it's interesting that uh, the thirstier you are, at, at least it's for me, I have a tendency not to sip, but to guzzle, guzzle down, <laughs> because I'm so thirsty. And uh, when you're thirsty after the things of God, uh, you want that thirst. Uh, it's a, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing if you're thirsty. It's not like... Uh, you miss God somewhere along the line. No, you're thirsty for that living water. Uh, Jesus met the woman at the well, uh, Jacob's well, and, and uh, you know, uh, they had a conversation there, and uh, Jesus told that woman, look, you can drink from this uh, water and still stay thirsty, but if you'll drink from the water that I give you, you'll never thirst again. Well, isn't that wonderful that we have living water? You know, Moses uh, was commanded by God to uh, strike the rock and water would come out. And uh, God uh, quenched the thirst in the natural. Can you imagine Moses striking that rock and water being just poured out to uh, quench the thirst of millions of people in the natural, out of a rock. See, well, that is a perfect typology. Jesus is our rock. He is our rock. And when he was smitten, when he was hit, when he was struck, you know, the Bible says that water and blood came out of him. And when he was struck, that living water that was on the inside of him is now made available to all of us. You know, uh, we used to sing that song, Fill My Cup, Lord. <laughs> and and uh, we didn't really know what we were singing. But uh, being thirsty for the things of God is a, a wonderful thing. You know, uh, those that hunger and thirst uh, for the kingdom uh, of God, those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, uh, they shall be filled. And, you know, if you've ever drank down a whole lot of water on a uh, on a hot summer day and your belly just full, I mean, it's, it's swooshing around in there. You drank so much water, right? But, but you quenched that thirst, see? And if ever you've seen uh, a water hole for animals, a lot of times that is where they're most vulnerable is when they're thirsty, uh, for instance, we're talking about a deer here, that a deer has to risk their life to go to that water hole, I'm talking about in the wild, uh, and you know, there's some kind of uh, uh, beast there uh, that would uh, want to make that deer their feast. And so they got to be real careful, uh, but finally, they get to this place of thirst, this place of desperation that like the four lepers, why sit we here till we die? And these deer recognize, hey, uh, I got to have water. And, uh, you know, in Africa, you know, I've seen documentaries how they have the rainy season and water is everywhere. But then they go into that dry season and these animals would have to travel miles and miles uh, to a water hole. And uh, same thing uh, for uh, people. You know, uh, I went on a, a three-day uh, fast under the direction of the Holy Ghost. Don't you do this unless the Holy Ghost tells you to. With nothing. Nothing. Not even water. Three days, zero. And I can tell you, I didn't realize how important water was in the natural. 
to our physical body till I went on that three day fast. And I, I think it was the second day I asked the Lord, can I at least go to the faucet and just wet my mouth? It was so dry and spit it out. And I got permission, I, and, I, and I was so tempted to swallow it, but I spit it out. And those three days without nothing, I'm like, my Lord, uh, how thirsty I was. When I came off that three days, I wasn't thinking about a hamburger. I wasn't thinking about a pizza. I was thinking about a glass of water. Thirsty, thirsty. Are you following this? Well, look. We got to keep our thirst up for the things of God. And uh, he has a way of quenching that thirst for us with his living water. And I just want to encourage you, keep your uh, soul thirsting after the things of God. It says in that verse two, my soul thirst for God. That's the quencher. You got all these power aid drinks, you know, advertisements and all this, you know. Uh, our power aid drink is God. Amen. Well, partners, uh, think on that and uh, keep keep your thirsty uh, uh, tongue going, if you will. And uh, me and Mama Alberta, we love you. Pray for you every day. Now, let me pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Mama Alberta and myself, we love each and every one of our partners. We are so thankful and grateful for them and their love for you and their commitment to serve you. And Lord, we just bless them now. And I thank you, Lord God, that they're, they remain thirsty for the things of the Spirit. And I'm asking you to just quench that thirst with your goodness with your love and with your mercy. I thank you, Lord God, for each and every one of them. Now I bless them, all these partners, spirit, soul, body, financially, socially, in the name of Jesus, so be it, amen. Well, partners, keep your eyes on Jesus. And remember, Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse four says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Be a blessing.